Enzo, Zane, great to speak to you both. And thank you very much for, for sitting down with Inside F2. Where, where, are you, where are you in the world at the moment, Zane? Are you, are you in London at the moment? Yeah, well, I'm uh, I'm five minutes away from, from Carlin Factory. So, uh, yeah, here getting into training and uh, preparing with the team. Cool. And Enzo, where are you in the world? I'm, uh, you know, 10 minutes away from the Carlin <laughs> Factory. <laughs> So, wait, Zane, you could have told me we could have been, we should have done it together in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. So first question, uh, Matt on Instagram, uh, he wants to know who's taller out of you both. Can you, can you settle the debate? Who's taller? Um, um, it's in like in, in, in centimeters. Lie. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like two, three centimeters taller than uh, Zane. It's, it's marginal. Okay. So, so, so Enzo is taller theoretically but it was one centimeter it wasn't two or three because <laughs> we, we actually measured at the gym and it yeah. was one centimeter so he's one centimeter taller than me there you go we'll, we'll get the tape measure out and we'll measure it right <laughs> zane are you, are you taller than a yumu or i think we're the same height, same I think height. We're the same height. enzo enzo also has an advantage because he he wears the the hook uh, shoes which are about another two or three centimeters so he can look yeah, taller. They, those are my my boosters they help me <laughs> gain some <laughs> gain some height so <laughs> you, you need to get some thick soles you need to get some <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> love it and that's hype then who, who would win in an arm wrestle between you guys i mean the i don't know um I, i've Enzo. actually i no no i've seen zane wrestle and it's He's, he wrestles very well, you know, like he's a, he's a very good wrestler. So, um, oh, but in arm wrestling, I don't know. I think, you know, I think, I think I would win. Well, arm, arm wrestling, I think would be quite close. Um, yeah, I don't do too many weights, but, but yeah, we won't, we won't go, go into it. But Enzo, uh, Enzo and I have been talking about having a wrestling match. Um, I think hopefully it'll happen at some point this season. Yeah. Love that, love that. A uh, wrestling match. Uh, who, and do you back yourself, Zane? You think you'd win the wrestling match? Or? Yeah, for sure. Well, my, my dad uh, my dad went to, to Junior Olympics in wrestling. Uh, so I oh. think I, I have that sort of, let's say, I understand the sport. And um, yeah, of course I would back myself. If, you, if we're the same size, then yeah, definitely. Would you do it on in the paddock on a race weekend? I, I would do it anywhere, to be honest. <laughs> uh, to tell you what, we're a couple of minutes into the interview. This has gone completely south already. We should probably ask some serious questions, shouldn't we? So, um, <laughs> first question then, uh, Zane, we'll come to you first, if that's all right. H how would you reflect on the season so far? Yeah, it's been, uh, I would say it's been quite difficult in terms of uh, Bahrain was was really good really strong even in qualifying uh, i made a mistake on my on my push lap so that's why i started so far back we should have been further up but then the race was uh, was really good um and then jeddah we expected a tough weekend but it was a bit tougher than i expected to be honest uh i just couldn't get to get to grips with everything uh, we just struggled for pace in general um but we bounced back really good in in australia uh, back to where we uh want to be let's say and on a consistent basis uh with 2p5 so yeah i'm uh there or thereabouts let's say in the championship and um we continue to to gain pace each weekend which is which is really good and uh yeah of course i don't want to be eighth in the championship so we need to really work hard to um, to, to step it up how was your neck after Jeddah going there as a rookie that's a tough circuit right yeah, it was. Uh, of course, it was tough. It was all right, though, to be honest, because, uh, well, I've I've known that hearing from drivers that Jeddah is the one to to really work for, and um, I've experienced that type of thing in in Zamvor in different categories. So I was really training hard. So uh, to be honest, when you're when you're as slow as I was, I'm not sure if you're working the neck as much. <laughs> Fair enough. And, and Enzo, how how would you assess the start of the season? Yeah, it was um, a difficult start. Um, I think, you know, we were struggling with our qualifying pace um, in, I think, a bit in Bahrain, but mainly uh, Jeddah. Um, and then, yeah, we we had some points, uh, you know, P9, P7, and, and Jeddah was a good recovery. 
Uh, and then coming into Melbourne, um, you know, we were really quick uh, and, you know, it was um, a weekend to, to have a bounce back. And, you know, we were doing a really good qualifying in the rain. Um, and then I missed uh, the, my lap was, I was on a really good lap and I missed the line by like uh, half a second. The red flag came out and my lap didn't count, uh, which was like a, for a top five lap. So yeah, it was uh, very frustrating because instead of, you know, being in the top five and qualifying in Melbourne, um, we, I qualified 16th, uh, and yeah, yeah, there were two races, um, did not, uh, go, go well, you know, I made, uh, two mistakes, uh, and crashed out in, in both races. So now I'm back home, I'm working extremely hard. There's 11 rounds left in the championship, a lot of points on the table. I'm confident, uh, that we have the speed now in qualifying. Um, I think we fixed that. So. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next race in Baku and, uh, you know, bouncing back uh, and having a good rest of the season. Yeah, it's early days, isn't it? And it's reassuring to know that you got the pace, right? Yeah, so that that for me is, um, I'm very happy about that because, you know, we were struggling in, in uh, Jeddah qualifying. I know in the race, you know, in the future race, I was, I think, uh, you know, the quickest in the medium compound. Um, so I knew we were... We we're quick we just needed to sort out our qualifying um and yeah i'm happy that you know we finally i feel like we finally uh you know we've made a big step forward uh, in qualifying so um yeah i can't wait to have another uh, go in qualifying in baku and see where we are yeah great circuit as well back isn't it yeah. um zane obviously reunited with carlin after a couple of years away does, does it almost feel like a bit of a homecoming yeah, definitely. Um, of course, we we won British F four together, uh, and yeah, it's it's been a a great team, let's say, to to always work with. Um, feels like a family within the team, and and I really know everyone from four or five years ago. So, yeah, it's a a really great atmosphere to be in. Um, it's very different to what I came from at Trident um, with an Italian team. Uh, to be honest, they did an amazing job as well with me. Uh, so yeah, I just every team I go to really, uh, I've I've enjoyed it and um, I've had a great season together with them. Um, but now the the job is with Carlin. Uh, I feel great within the team, uh, and yeah, my my engineer Matt is doing a great job at uh, teaching me everything I need to learn and and also having fun off the track as well. We go play some tennis, some football together. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm enjoying it so far and. Other than the British weather, I'm, I'm having a great time here. <laughs> Get used to it. It's not quite as hot as Barbados, right? <laughs> no, not quite. It's uh, yeah, it's, it's tough so far. Um, I need to buy some more jackets. Get some more jackets. <laughs> exactly. And, and that. You, need, you know, you need some uh, vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get that when you go away, though, right? I'm stuck here all year, you know? It's uh... <laughs> Yeah, with the, well... I, the rounds so far have been uh, have been Bahrain, Jeddah, and and Australia, which are really hot countries. So uh, I think now that we're after Baku, we're moving into Europe. And it might be a bit more uh, cloudy, rainy qualifying days. Uh, we'll see. No, but get get ready, Zane. Like uh, Monaco, ba um, Monaco, um, Barcelona, Budapest is extremely hot. I'm ready for any hot conditions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but you were in F3, you were there last year in Barcelona and you know how hot it gets. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, Barbados is very, it's very hot. So yeah, to be honest, I, I, I love the weather when it, 30 degrees or above, I'm I'm there. We need, a, we need a race in Barbados, right? I mean, that'd be great. Yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, it's a bit far away, but I'm sure that in the future some, something can happen. That would be really cool. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, uh, we got obviously, as you know, loads of fan questions that have come in. So we get back to the the fan questions. Um, Nick on Instagram asks, how many times do you both go to the Red Bull training camp? I, I guess what he means by that is, you know, in terms of the Red Bull facilities, how often are you guys there? Say we, I go, I think, like two once to twice a week, something like that, um, to do simulator or to go and uh, use the gym um but since because i think me me and zane we live uh like 
two two hours away from Milton Keynes or an hour and a half by car. And and how 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 much does that relationship with Red Bull? How much does that benefit you both? It, I suppose it's on on track and off track as well, right? Yeah, it's um it's a great opportunity that we have. Of course, uh, I I go like same as similar to Enzo, uh, one or two days before each round to try to get uh, get on the sim, uh, <laughs> learn as much as I can from the team. Um, like yeah, I keep saying that. Formula Two is my is my goal right now, and and I need to do a great job in that. So whatever I can do at Red Bull to to help me in Formula Two is is what I'm trying to do now, and and they're doing, um, they're helping me a lot. So yeah, there's a, a great opportunity, a dream come true to be part of of Red Bull, and um, of course, I'm sure that throughout the season uh, I'll be able to to know what I need from them to to learn even more. And. Aaron asks, what circuits are you both or are you most looking forward to for the rest of the season? And and how do you unwind after a race weekend, Dendo? I'd say I'm most looking forward to Monaco. Um, I think that was a track that uh, I really enjoyed last year. I had a great time there. Um, qualifying is just an amazing feeling there. You know, you're so close to the walls and it's just a, a really nice track. So I think that track I'm most looking forward to uh for qualifying and the races because i had a lot of fun there uh every lap you do in monaco is sensational so yeah i think that race i'm most looking forward to at the moment is uh, monaco yeah i was gonna say monaco as well um i raced there in formula regional um and it was amazing so in an f2 car i'm sure it will be will be even better uh but to be honest all the european circuits are, are really nice and uh, I would say, if not, if not Monaco, then uh, probably Spa. Uh, I really enjoy Spa. Spa is a, it's a bit of everything, a bit of slow speed, a bit of high speed, a bit of medium speed, some uh, change of directions in there. So it's you really need to put everything together at Spa to be to be quick. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to looking forward to that round as well. And Zane, second part of that question: How how do you unro- unwind after a race weekend? Uh yeah, well. It depends, of course, uh, how the race weekend goes. Um, either you come back uh, very happy and you want to go again straight away, or you come back uh, a bit disappointed. But it's important to to still continue to to work hard. Um, like, yeah, sometimes we have one week in between the rounds, sometimes two months. So when it's back to backs, usually I try to take a day or two day or two off. Uh, there's not much training you can do in between, so it's more. Um, get on the sim one or two days and, and go straight to the next event. Whereas when it's like two months off, um, I get straight back into training. Uh, hopefully go and see friends, some friends or family, uh, get get me back into the right mindset. And uh, and yeah, then similar things start to work for the next round. But uh, of course, it's lots of work that goes on, but I like to, to do other sports with the team, with my friends, with... Ooh, uh, yeah, do any anything I can really. Uh, lots of football, tennis, just to have fun and keep in shape at the same time. Nice. Who do you support? Do you support a UK team or? Yeah, well, in the UK it's Chelsea. I support. Chelsea. Oh, Zane. Oh, Zane. <laughs> <laughs> no, Enzo, do you, do you... I don't watch the UK. Uh... The, the he, he, he's he's hilarious. He says, "Ah, Zane, but he doesn't know what the team is." <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, I don't want to get involved in the in the in the you know the rivalries of the uh, soccer, the soccer in uh, in the United Kingdom. So I'd rather not comment. Enzo, one for you. So Sandra wants to know um, it, what other what other series are you interested in racing? Would something like IndyCar or ISMA be be something of interest to you in North America? Um. At the moment, I like, um, you know, one, one of my dreams, obviously, and is um, has always been since I was a little kid, was um, to win the Indy 500. Um, so that's something, you know, I would love to do uh, in the future. Uh, but right now, uh, my goals is to make it Formula One's uh, Formula One. That's my dream. Um, so I'm working towards that. Okay, some less serious questions now. So Zoe wants to know, pineapple on pizza, yes or no, Zane? Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, I've gotten a lot of... Uh, I've gotten a lot of... It actually, I, I said it on another podcast and yeah, people went crazy. Some people loved it. Some people thought I was 
some crazy guy from this earth. But uh, no, I love pineapple on pizza. That's probably my uh, if if you if I went to a restaurant, even in Italy, um, and I asked for pizza, it would be with pineapple on top. Enzo, pineapple on pizza? No, that's 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 just <laughs> unacceptable. Have you even tried it? I've I've tried it, and it just yeah. it doesn't it, it it just doesn't go because it's like you're eating something like salty, and then you have fruit in it, which it's sweet, so it doesn't like it just doesn't go. I, I don't I don't like it. Oh, you know, I know Green likes it. I've seen him eat it. So yeah, certain foods for certain people, but I hear a lot of people saying. Um... No, it's disgusting, but they've never tried it. So face your fears and try it and let me know. Because I think uh, I think at least 50% will love it. No, I've, I've tried it before. Zane, I've tried yeah. it. I just, you know, I, I didn't really... <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just, I don't know, bro. I didn't really like it. I, I don't... I wasn't Enzo, a big fan of it. Yeah. Enzo, I'm, I'm with you. It doesn't quite work for... Uh, you know what? I'm not getting into it. I'm yeah. not getting into it. Yeah. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a lot of stick for that. So <laughs> that's all right. Okay. And last question then. So Aaron asks, uh, "What's your go-to McDonald's? Or are you even allowed McDonald's? Do you have McDonald's? Or man, I, I haven't been to a McDonald's in like in a really long time. I think six, seven years. Eight what, years. what was your go-to McDonald's order when you had one last? What was it? Do you know? No. So when I had one in the U.S. where I live in North Carolina. Um, there's a place called Chick-fil-A and that's very uh, popular there where I live and yeah if I do ever go there I'll just probably get some uh, like chicken. Cool sounds good and Zane you got a uh, go to McDonald's order? Yeah so I'm, I'm not usually allowed uh, McDonald's of course um, Pap wouldn't would really not want me to have that um, but, of, but when I do I really go all out so uh if I have it once once a month, let's say I make sure to make the most of it, and uh, I probably order. I think every time it's twenty nuggets, two uh, two cheeseburgers without pickles. So I make sure to gain a few pounds just when I eat um, at McDonald's that one time. You go all wow. out, yeah, all out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love <They're> all out. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, listen, it's been great speaking to you. Thank you very much for sitting down with us. And uh, yeah, I guess from all of us here at Inside F2, thank you. And uh, best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Fraser. See you.